Now that sign says applesauce. No, no, no. no. I'm, I, I'm kidding. It says applause. Ray, do me a favor. Could you flick that once? All right. Now, remember, you're all, you're all a big part of the show, so the better you are, the better Larry is. Okay, now you see this gentleman? Now he's giving me this, uh, this sign, and it says, we're on in 10 seconds, so get ready to have a good time. All right, here we go. This is exciting, isn't it? In five, four, three, two. Oh, good morning, Mr. Full of Life. Good morning to you, Hank. Do you remember that, uh, uh, the private nurse you had? Miss Ferguson? Yeah, yeah Sheila. Sure. Uh, anyway, I got to talking to her, and, uh, well, let's just say, uh, she has a friend, uh -huh. you see. Yeah. And, uh, who's also this is a, going. a No, wait a minute. The friend's she's also a nurse. Nurse, and, uh, she's equally attractive. Mm -hmm. And what do you say? Come I don't on, know. you know, uh, two lovely nurses, a little dinner at the Bel Air Hotel. Yeah. Before and, you know uh, it, you got your head turned sideways. You're coughing. Okay, I tell you what, I'm just gonna go fuck myself. Hey, okay. I'm sorry. It's my first day back. I'm a little on edge. Ah, uh, you see, that's stress. That's stress. <sighs> I am it, it, fine. Stress, I'm... stress. I hate it. You know, stress kills. You know, and and we all know, we all know, the best relief in the world for stress is. I don't uh, say it, Hank. Uh, uh, uh. Low jobs. Main floor talk show. Think about it. Think about what? He wants to set me up. Oh, oh, good. Surprise! Larry Sanders in the house. Oh, my God, Larry, you look so oh, good. Thanks, darling. Thank you. We have monologue jokes about okay. your heart attack. Uh, I, it was not a heart attack. It was a mild heart episode. Heart please. Episode. A heart yeah. episode. Is that so anything a... like a designing women episode? Yes. <laughs> and, then... and that did both make you sick? Yes, and involve fatty buildup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Larry, isn't your cholesterol higher than your... SATs. He's bad. Get well cards. How many? Seven and a half pounds. Seven and a half pounds? Way to go, Larry. Hey, well, wait a minute. Last year when I broke my leg, didn't I get nine pounds? Yes, but you've got two miles of faxes out there. Well, all right. Send them a nice personally autographed photo of me. Oh, should I put best wishes or thanks for caring? Uh, your choice. Beverly, please. Oh, leave him be, Beverly. Just read me. Marty, please. For support. Who's on the show? Ed Harris, Luther Vandross, and as far as I'm concerned, a cure for what ails you, Miss Helen Hunt. Um, well, uh, what can I say? We uh, play newlyweds living in Manhattan, mm -hmm. and uh, he has a dog, and I have a neurotic sister, and we both have jobs, and... Right. Somehow in there, mad about you. And are you having fun? Yes, having a very good time. Good. Well, if I may say, I think the viewing public is watching because they're mad about you. Uh, thank you very much. I personally think that most people are mad about you. Larry. No, most, most, uh, most uh, people are mad at me. <laughs> so listen. When exactly is the show on? It's on 9.30, Saturday night. That's a new time for us. You know, we used to be on Wednesdays after Seinfeld. <laughs> so uh, what have you been doing in your spare time? Oh, God, I haven't really had any spare time. You know, they picked us up for 22 more uh -huh. shows, and they could add more to that on the back end. Wow, if your back end gets too big, you got to get a Stairmaster. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, let me see. What I was going to ask you is that how's the new time slot working out? Um, the ratings are a little weaker, but we have a much stronger share, which mm -hmm. is key, you know, about Saturday nights. Sure, sure. How was your fish? It's a little dry. Now, didn't somebody tell me that you went to Hawaii? Is that right? Yeah, the guy that did my pre-interview for your show? That's right. That's right. Was there a funny story about Hawaii? Because we didn't get to it on the Yeah, on the air. actually, a girlfriend and I were snorkeling in the uh -huh. water, and... Hey, why don't you hold that thought, and, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, see you in a minute. No flipping. <laughs> You're a riot. <laughs> I am telling you, it was like an all interview. All she talked about? about was show business, like and all I did was pretend to be interested. All right. I mean, maybe this is well, it didn't go anywhere. It's what not do you mean, just type. as well? I don't book her anymore. I told you that earlier. All right. Larry, I'm talking to two girls out there in the audience yeah. who drove in all the way from Anaheim. Now, they're Disney employees. Right. They're, they're waitresses. Where at? Uh, the uh, Dumbo Hilton, uh -huh. oh. the Dumbo... Hyatt, I don't know. Anyway, 
Do you think they want to drive all the way back there tonight? No, they do not. I mean, after all, that is a two-hour drive. Yeah, I think that's just to the monorail stop, isn't so it? So where do you think I told them they should stay overnight? Oh, I don't know. Bel Air, Bel -Air Hotel. Hotel, sure. Larry. This is a ball in the corner pocket. This is game over. All we need are our cue sticks, it sounds like to me. Hey, now. You bring the chalk. <laughs> chalk? Think about it. You get them all. I got them all. Huh? Okay. You always get them all. I shouldn't have even asked. Did you get them all? She got them all. I just asked her. She always gets them all. Get ready to have a good time with Dana Delaney. Live on tape from Hollywood, the Larry Sanders Show. Tonight. <laughs> Are you finished that? You know, I've been known to have wild palms myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they're not hairy. <laughs> didn't want to say it. All right. Well, uh, what are you working on now? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. Everybody talks about show business in this town. It bores me to death. How was your fish? Um, a little dry. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? You know, I really should get going. Aren't you going to finish your dessert? No, um, I, yeah. I got to get up early tomorrow. Oh, are you working on something? Uh, no, I'm not working. I just, I'm, I'm a morning person. Oh. How about you? No, well, you know, I host a late night talk show, so I'm up late. Yeah, but you shoot during the afternoons. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm so wired from watching it that I don't get to sleep till like 3, 4 in the morning. Let me get this. Oh, no, let me, <clears throat> let me get that. No no, 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 please, I had a great time. I asked you. I want to. Well, do you want to go back to my house to watch ourselves on the show? Uh, Larry, I heard you had a stroke or something. No, I did not. I'm excellent. Gosh, I thought I read somewhere that you had a stroke. No, no. I had a minor heart episode of that. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're talking oh about. Oh, my God. You seem so young to no. have that problem. Uh, no, it is very common among talk show hosts. Regis Philbin had angioplasty recently. Well, let me help you with that. <laughs> Larry? I don't want you to take this personally or anything, because you're great, you are, but um, you're, you're just not my type. Really? Oh. What is your type? Well, it's not like I really have a type, but... Oh. <laughs> it's just, you know, I just got out of a relationship, and I'm not ready to get involved right. again. Which one is it, really? Artie, I know what you're doing, and I just want you to stop. Do what? There's a very fine line between being a booker and a pimp. Oh, thank you. Look, this show is the most highly advanced video dating service in the world, besides left to your own devices. Ooh, you don't pick winners. You know, you talk about it like it's the track, Artie. It is. It is not the track. Jeannie pulled up lame, and that crazy Philly Francine should have been shot Listen, in the infield. I will ruin my life on my own. Thank you. Go ahead. Excuse me? Arthur, it's one of your sons. Eddie? Steve. Oh, shit. Sheriff Station? No, emergency room. Oh, yeah. It's line three. Hey, how was the uh, date with uh, Miss uh, China Beach? Yeah, it was more of a get-to-know-you thing than a date, really. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. well, what the hell? What do you need with her? I mean, she's a pain in the ass. Uh, isn't you know? she? Yeah, actresses. I mean, they're all pains in the ass, you know. Aren't they? This is good. This is, this is, this is funny. Which one? <laughs> Shoes. That's all it says. Shoes. There's yeah, no joke there. I know. That's great. Listen, um, I think uh, I know what you want. And, uh, I, I happen to know uh, these uh, two girls who work at the Gap, Katya and Bree. Uh, and uh, they're, they're very young, but, uh, but bright. And, and uh, Bree has actually had some uh, community college. Is that right? yeah. Wow. yeah. Is that the Hollywood uh, Gap or the Santa Monica Gap? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Have you ever eaten at the St. James Club? No. Oh, uh, well, uh, actually, uh, it's not It's not a club. It's a, it's a hotel, but uh, we could have a night there, yeah. you know. Do you think about it? Oh, you know? Well, I've, I've decided okay. to ruin my life on my own. But you just think Thanks. about no, it. I'm, Will you think? I'm going to ruin it on my own. All right. Larry? I can't take any more of these. I might just... Get ready to have a very good time with Terry Gar. <sighs> Where's uh, Larry's breath freshener? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Omaha. Isn't that where Dorothy's from? Oh, Terry Gar, she, she's cute. She's funny, isn't she? Larry, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't watch you do this to yourself. If you think dating a bunch of actresses is going to turn your life around, well, I'll just have the cardiac ward reserve a room for you right now. Yeah, you think? But he's a trained dog. 
He does a trick when I, uh, if I hold food in front of his face and I ask a question like, is it a nice day? And I go like this, he, he goes, yes. <laughs> so he's kind of a trained dog and kind of uh, just a dog. Well, you know, my grandfather will do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that, but yes, you can go, oh. Grandpa, <laughs> isn't it cold outside? <laughs> And he nods, even though it, it's 105 degrees. <laughs> and, and, exactly and the joke the is on Grandpa. That's right. Same with the dog. Uh, we should talk about this. Uh, why don't we just write it down? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Uh, I don't know what words to use. Um, how about, this was probably a mistake. Yeah, that's okay. good. And, um, and it will never, never happen again. Good. And it, we sh it, we I should never have a Xanax and wine oh, gosh, together. Oh, gosh, me neither. No. Okay. Is Larry in yet? Mm -mm. I know he's been dating a lot of guests. Don't you think it's only a matter of time before he works his way around to one of us? Mm. It's going to happen. Let's face facts. And when it does, it's either going to be you or me. All right. Like Larry would date a sister? I don't think so. Mm. Beverly, fine morning. Good morning. Darlene. God, it's me. Listen, Steve, Christ. you better grow up, you son of a bitch. This is America. You don't get caught. You don't ever plead guilty. You hear me, you asshole? Oh, Jesus. That is fascinating. <laughs> so you actually have a... The, the Gap actually has a, a, a branch in Santa Monica. Oh, yeah. 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 The location is great, but mm -hmm. the personnel manager is such a bitch. Oh, there is yeah. no excuse for that. I hate that. Mm. That's not Bad. right. That's not yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So how do you spell Katya? K-A-T-Y-A. Huh? Right? Hmm? Well, actually, I am. So it's actually pronounced Katya? No, I think it would be Katya. Oh, Katya. Yeah. Katya. Katya. And then is Smith just a common spelling? <laughs> <There he is. laughs> um, would you boys just excuse us for a minute? Oh, go for it. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Well, this is, I mean, it's fun, isn't it? This is fun. You having fun? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a refreshing change from those, you know, self-obsessed showbiz women. You know. hey, hey, isn't that Susan Anton? Isn't that Su right no. there? Yeah. No, very similar look, but no, that's no. exactly her look. Susan, hi. Hey, hi. Larry, hi. Where, how are you? I'm good. Good. <laughs> um, hey, why don't you sit down and uh? Actually, uh, no, we're in the middle of something right now, so. Oh. Oh, oh well, sure. Pull, well, yeah. Uh, pull no, up a chair. There's no extra chairs. <laughs> yeah, you guys figured out. Okay, I've got to go anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Nice see you. See you later yeah. on. Oh. What, what do you do? Believe me, this is something you do not want to get into right now. Can I ask you something? What? Um, I like the blonde. Fine. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for what? We're back. We're back. Hello. Hey. So, uh, Katya, um, how long have you been in uh, retail? A while. Larry, can I have a bite of your cake? You sure can. Uh, save some for me. I'm saving the frosting for you. Katya? Good. Katya, um, is it your dream to uh, uh, someday uh, have your own retail? Store? It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to embarrass you. Uh, Katya, can... <laughs> Katya? You have, you have the most, I can't, can I, do you mind? I know it's embarrassing, but that's the most incredible blonde hair. Really? Oh, no, you do. I, you know, I, actually, when I was a teenager, my hair was very, was very close to that color. I think I need some air. <laughs> oh, man. Excuse me. I don't know oh. what to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Are you having a good time? No. I, I mean, I, I know that you're used to going out with big movie stars and stuff. Those women have a lot of problems. They're bad news. You have no really? idea. Yeah. You know who you should have on your show? Who? 
Tom. Tom Hanks? No, no, no. Tom, this guy from my work. He is, like, the funniest guy that I have ever met. Sometimes when business is really mm -hmm. slow, he walks around the store wearing the biggest pair of pants that we've got. I mean, <laughs> like, a man size 62. It is so fucking funny. It sounds funny. It is. <laughs> so, where could I tell him to get in touch with you? I mean, should I just give him your phone number? No more single dates, no right. more double dates, okay. no more dates. Okay, you're right. No more women. Okay, but uh, now l listen to this. My place in Malibu, just you and me, no chiquitas, a few glasses of port, some fine Cubanos, maybe, I don't know, a couple of porno tapes. How about a ball game? You want to do that? Hey, okay, I'm there. Ball game. Okay, good. Uh, uh, baseball. Yeah, you and me, Artie. What do you say? That's great. Like yeah. the old days. Yeah, I don't know what old days you're talking about in particular, but that general idea, yeah. yeah. And please, no women. Amen. Who's that? It's a woman. Yuck. Excuse me, the elevator's always a little slow because there's a... Hmm. Uh, Sorry to disappoint uh, you. You. Are hardly uh, no, disappointing. Uh, uh, this is my first wife, Francine. You probably don't recall because it's been quite a while. Hi, Hank. Oh, I'm sorry, Francine. You How didn't are you? recognize me. That's no. okay. We no. only had you over to the house at one time. No, but again, that Blancat du Vaux was it was extraordinary. You know, I've been I've been wanting to get that recipe from. That's my beeper. I don't think she's quite got the hang of this. Let's go over this again. You see, it's for when you cannot see me. You cannot see me. Here, let me explain it. Didn't we have him over to the house more than once? Or... No, we didn't. You only let me invite each of your friends over one really? time. Oh, yes. I must have been really an asshole. No, not really. Who wants to have those friends over more than once right, anyway? Right, right, This elevator's slow. Yeah. What were you doing here? Oh, um... I'm working on this piece about Hollywood unions. I was interviewing some of the tech people uh -huh. here. A lot of productions going up to Canada, and some of these guys are really... You look great. You weren't listening. Yes, I was. You were, you were talking about the uh, Hollywood unions and uh, tech people really getting hurt. I bleed for those people, you know. But you really do look great. No, son, this detox will be good for you. What's that? Where... Well, where the hell do you think you are? You're in Minnesota. Great alert, Artie. Why? Well, Steve, I love you, son. That's why. Larry is talking to Francine. Oh, Jesus! God, I'll call you back. Who let the crazy bitch in here? No She's going to fuck him up for weeks. Oh, I heard you had a heart attack or something, and your wife left yeah. you. I didn't hear about the Emmy. Yeah, we didn't get nominated again. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are such nice Aren't statues. Aren't they? Yes. Aren't they? You know? And now I'm just going to... I built all these bookshelves. I'm going to have to put books on them, you know? Well, which fools nobody. Don't I know. Now people just come over. They see all the books. Yeah, they think, no hey, way. no Emmys. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you want to go mm -hmm. to uh, dinner? Oh. Is that a yes? No, I'm... I'm thinking. Oh. I'm thinking, too. <laughs> Sorry, the elevator's so slow. Oh. Well, I haven't pushed the button yet. This place is very dark and sad, don't you think? Yeah. You come here a lot, huh? No, I don't. Really? Mm -mm. There's a caricature of you over there on the wall. Oh, that's Barf Streisand. Hmm. That looks exactly like you. Well, you know, these aren't supposed to be flattering caricatures never are. You see Nick Nolte over there? Mm -hmm. Look, he looks like Rosemarie. How do you oh, think look. he feels? I thought that was Gene Autry. <laughs> no. no, that's Nick Nolte. Mm. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Sanders. Mr. Ovitz would like you to accept this bottle of champagne with his compliments. Oh, thanks. Would well, just set it down and tell Mr. Ovitz thank you very much. I sure will, sir. He hates me. Then why are you waving at him? Because he's waving at me. He's a very powerful man. He could get me a movie. Do you want a movie? No, but it would be nice to be asked. Yes. I can't stop waving. Help me stop. <laughs> Do something. I just... You just gave Mike Ovitz the finger. What is wrong with you? Just stop. You just stop. He didn't what? even, he didn't he even saw, see it. No, he he saw you. He doesn't need to see it. He can feel it. He's an agent. You know how many times he gets flipped off behind his back in a given week? He's sitting there right now going, wow, someone just flipped me off. It comes from deep down in those guys. Boy, you have really changed. I know. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, but you gotta be careful, because someone's gonna shoot you in this town, you flip them off like that. What if I told you I have a gun? You have a gun? Yes, I do. 
Jesus, you've changed. I know. I want to thank them for returning the couch and hang. Oh, it's it's on a it's on a it's it's on a timer. Wait a minute. No. Oh, that that thing's happening again where your where your suit disappears into the curtain. Oh yeah, like, you know, like the. It looks the, like a big floating head. Yeah. That doesn't really bother me anymore. I think. Really? Well, yeah. oh, that's good. That's where Great. I'm doing, I'm doing one of those CNN interviews, looking into the camera, going, "Come well, on, Susie, you know you yeah. did it with me." Say Where are you going? Oh, I, I have a deadline, and you have a show no. to watch. So no, 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 look. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very sweet gesture. Sweet gesture? I've turned my show off for anybody. I know, but I, I still have a deadline. I'm going to go downstairs to get my clothes. That was great sex. I had a it great was, time. It was... It was... Well, wait a minute. Now, aren't, aren't you... Um, can I have, you know... What? You know, can I have your number? My phone number? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to get that. I don't believe you. I'm not. I'm not going to get mm. that. Larry, it's Artie. I know you went to dinner with Francine, but Jesus, God, lad, I'm warning you, don't have sex with her. Larry? <laughs> Next tonight, dream on.